Hey guys, so I am now on to my video log number five. Um, I've had a couple days that are passing, so I have decided that I may not do this every day, but I'll do it as often as I feel is needed, especially if there aren't like major changes that are going on. After I did my fourth video log and I said that everything was going great and I was feeling better about things and finally accepting my weight and where I was at, I definitely had a moment, a momentarily, I went through a, a small little breakdown where I did cry and I was really upset and my husband um, asked me why I was upset um, and I had talked about my kink that I woke up that I had in my neck and, and in my back, like in my shoulder and I didn't know if it was arthritis or, or what it was, but it was really painful and I was really upset and he looked at me and he's like, what else is going on? And I was like, okay. And then I just started to cry and I just said, I just wanna eat food. I wanna eat food and have it be okay and just not feel guilty about eating food or feel so stressed about what I'm putting in my body all the time. And that was just a realization to me that maybe I'm not fine and as fine as I thought. And so that was kind of a wake up call for me, but I've realized that it is hard to do this. And I am now beginning week 11 of this journey today and I want you to know that I did do my weigh in this morning and this time was the first time that I had my husband not check the number for me, but I checked myself. I did it all myself and I was nervous as heck and I was just shaking before I got on the scale and just a lot of anxiety, but the number um, went down. So I have gone down two pounds since last week and I'm consistently going down two pounds per week. That's a pretty consistent number, and I feel like that's a healthy weight loss number. Um, I'm pulling off weight naturally and in a healthy way, so I'm feeling really proud of myself for that. And since the beginning of this journey, um, my guess is that I have probably lost about 20 pounds total um, in um, 10 weeks, which is nothing to sneeze at. That's something to feel really proud about, and so I'm trying to remind myself of this. Um, but it's hard because as I'm headed into week 11, um, this is the time when most people stop their diet plans. They stop what they're doing. And I'm definitely feeling less motivated than I was before because in the beginning when you know there's a problem and, and it's really big and, and you know, I definitely feel like you're more motivated to do what it takes. But the longer that you go on this journey, it's harder to keep that same motivation. So I'm definitely facing that. I'm facing the disappointment of the scale, but at the same time, I'm also proud of myself for making the changes I have so far in moving forward. And I have started today. I did start exercising today. I went walking with my husband and I hope to do this consistently. We not only had a great walk and it was a great bonding experience for us together, but we were able to make some decisions together that we were having a hard time making. And, um, just I felt more motivated and had more energy since this walk. So I feel like this is the right direction for me. And now that I'm going into week 11, I think exercise is the, the next step. I feel like it'll help me to uh, maximize my weight loss even more. And so I'm excited for that. But more than that, it's just, it's really about getting healthy and focusing on health. Sometimes I get overwhelmed when I think about the number on the scale and I think about how much I have to pull off to really reach my, my ultimate goal and my ideal weight of 135 pounds. Um, that is my, by the way, that's my goal in case I haven't mentioned it before. Um, I, it's, it's overwhelming because I have to take off an entire person, but then I have to remind myself that Mandy, it took you years to get here. It's okay to give yourself a full year to take it off and to be patient with yourself. Um, that's gonna be the best way to take off the weight. Um, the here now, the quick, easy, it's never, it's never lasting and I need this to be lasting this time. So I'm really trying to put my nose to the grindstone. I want food, it's true. I went shopping for the first time um, in person since I began this journey, cause I typically order online, uh, I spend less and you know, as a financial reason I've ordered online. Um, but when I went out to the store with my husband, um, walked by the hostess cupcakes and all those yummy treats I used to eat a lot of, 
I wanted them. I'm not going to lie. I totally wanted them. Um, I wanted them so much that last night I dreamed about having an endless row of Hostess cupcakes. Like you pull one off and you eat one and then there's another one and then there's another one. And I was eating them in my dream and I was loving them, but also feeling a great sense of guilt and being like, oh, I have to log this in. I don't want to log this in. And um, But I'm having to accept that I can't go back to those old ways and, and I am changing my lifestyle. I cannot go back to what I did before. My children deserve to have a mom around to watch them through those most important steps in their life and events that they're having. And I need to do this for the first time. I need to do this for myself. Um, yes, for my family. Yes, for my children. But for myself. Because for the first time in my life, I'm starting to believe that I deserve to treat myself better. And I deserve the time it takes to do that. So those are my thoughts for today. I'm excited to head into week 11 and I'm looking forward to great success. I'm hopeful of great success. Um, we are on spring break week, so this is definitely a time where we're going to be tested and we may or may not be traveling during this time. So if that's the case, then I'm definitely going to have to uh, pull up my bootstraps and I'm going to have to prepare ahead of time, do lots, lots and lots of preparation um, so I can have the healthy foods that I've been eating that I know are working for my body. So um, I'm excited to touch base with you another time and we'll talk to you later. Bye.